This video tutorial will review the new Speed Trainer functionality found in Song Surgeon version 4. And since the Speed Trainer functionality is something that applies to loops, you will find the settings for that underneath the Edit Dialog window in the Loop Controls area. And when you open it up, you will see down here toward the bottom the particular section we are talking about. So let's go ahead and review this section and what each of these different settings does. Firstly, we have a beginning and an ending tempo. In this case, I have 50% set up as the starting tempo and 100% at the ending tempo. And I also have a percentage change. And what this means is that every time the song or the loop loops, if I can say that, every time the loop loops, it will change by 20%. So if we're starting at 50% tempo and it's going to change it by 20%, 20% times 50% is 10. So it will change this by 10 every time, meaning to say play the first time at 50, then 60, then 70, then 80, then 90, and then 100. And that's really what the speed trainer is. It will progressively increase the speed by 20% of this original value each time it loops until you hit the ending tempo of 100%. The other thing here is this ST Bypass button, which you can probably guess means Speed Trainer Bypass. If you've got it selected, um, and these loops are set up, and the Speed Trainer is set up, it will ignore the Speed Trainer. So if you want the Speed Trainer to be in effect, you have to deselect this. And let's go ahead now and listen to these settings. And as we listen, we can watch down here, and we should be able to see the tempo start at 50%, and then go to 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So, Let's go ahead and play this back and we'll take a we'll take a listen and we'll watch. Okay, 50%. And you shrink. 60%. And you shrink. 70%. So you can see it does indeed work exactly as we've described it. One last thing that I'd like to just explain to you before we conclude this training video is the starting and ending tempos. Now most people intuitively would think they're going to start at 50%. They're going to end at some higher percentage, and clearly most people will use it that way. But you could do it in just the opposite. You could have it gradually slow down by putting a ending tempo, let's say that's at 50%, and a beginning tempo that's at 100%. So in this case, it would progressively slow down each time it loops, rather than increase each time it loops. And you would simply set the percentage here as something, except you're going to be slowing down, so you need a negative number here. So we'll put negative 20%. So we're going to start at 100. It's going to go progressively slower until we get to 50%, and then it's going to stop. So let's take a quick look at this as well. And you shrink. 100, now 80, so it decreased 20%. Now 60%. And now 50%. And so you can see the Speed Trainer does indeed work in reverse. So that will conclude this video tutorial.